Dear viewers, welcome to the APA's group headquarters in Heerenveen, the Netherlands. My name is Thijs Timmermans. I am sales manager potato and vegetable equipment. And in this video, I would like to introduce you to the Agricola S&T2-290 precision sewing machine. The T in the S&T2 means tandem. This means that you have two coulters in one element. This allows you to have a line distance within one element from 0 to 80 millimeters. So one element has two lines. This setup enables you to sew 4 times 75 centimeters with a double line for carrots. Not only the distance between the coulters you can change, you can also change the distance between the elements. This machine allows you to sow various crops on various line distances. For instance, onions, red beets, or like this, carrots. Now, let's walk through the machine. Starting with the element. In front of the element, we have the AL front clot pusher. This front clot pusher makes sure you have no stones or little clots in front of your coulters. After the front clot pusher, we have the first depth wheel. This depth wheel can be equipped with stainless steel, rubber or even mesh wheel. After our depth wheel, we have our coulter and seeding unit. In this case, a single line seeding unit. After the unit, we have our adjustable seed cover tail, which pushes back the soil into the furrow. Then optional, you can choose for seed press wheels. Seed press wheels presses the soil on top of your seed to make sure you have an even compressed soil. This makes sure you have an even emerge. Then after the unit, we have our second depth wheel, which can be equipped in stainless steel, mesh, or in this case, rubber. Depending on soil conditions, you can variable adjust the pressure on your elements. For sandy soils, you might choose to relieve the pressure on your elements slightly. In heavy soils, you can apply more pressure on the coulters, making it easier for them to penetrate in the soil and reach the correct depth. Now let's explain a little bit more about the sewing unit of Agricola. The seeds go through the hopper down to the chamber where the seeds are waiting to be collected by the sewing disc. Within the chamber there is an adjustable height wall. For larger and unevenly shaped seeds you have the option to widen the gap in the chamber providing the seeds with more room to enter. A unique selling point for the Agricola sewing unit is the standard equipped rotating axle in the chamber. This rotating axle prevents bridge forming of the seeds and still handles the seeds very gentle due to the rubber pins. Due to a vacuum fan, air will be sucked through the holes in the sewing disc. This assures that each hole will be filled with one seed. Seeds will be transported all the way through the unit past the inspection glass to the coulter. To prevent double seeds on your disc, Agricola installed two singulators which can easily be adjusted with this lever. One singulator dispatches double seeds on top of the holes and the other singulator dispatches the double seeds on the bottom of the holes. The seeds will continue their way through the inspection glass to the area where the vacuum disappears and the seeds will fall off the disc into the soil through the coulter. After the seeds have come off Pressurized air will come through the black tube and blows air through the sewing disc to clean the holes. Unique to the Agricola is the direction of the sewing disc. Where competitors have their sewing disc turning in the same direction as the driveway, Agricola managed to turn the sewing disc in the opposite direction. So the direction of the tractor is that way and the sewing discs are turning the other way around. This ensures that the seeds drop down straight in the soil and are fixed in the soil immediately. Now let's go to the drive line of the Agricola. To start with the wheel. From the wheel we go to two sprockets and a chain to our gearbox. This gearbox is equipped with 10 gears. 
In these 10 gears, we have a range of sewing di uh, distances. If the sewing distance does not fit your requirements, you can change the two sprockets. In front, we have an 18 teeth sprocket, and in the rear, we have a 22 teeth sprocket. If we change them, we have a different kind of range of sewing distances. Now what's unique at Agricola is that their pressurized air will be produced by a separate air compressor. While other comp competitors use their vacuum air also as a pressure air. A big benefit of a separate air compressor is that you can produce more air to have better cleaning. To prevent condense in the elements, Agricola installed a radiator with an electro-driven fan. So this will cool down the air and prevents condense in your colter, in your elements. The vacuum air fan and the compressor will be driven by the PTO shaft at an RPM of 540. The pressure on the vacuum fan you can regulate on the rear with a spindle. On this little clock you can see the pressure of the vacuum air and the pressure on your compressor. For the cleaning. Thank you all for watching. For more information, don't hesitate to contact me or one of my colleagues at aphgroup.com.